We are here inside of Photoshop, and I'd like to show you a quick way to automatically trim away these empty pixels around your graphics. They may take the form of transparent pixels or even a solid color. I've got three examples I'd like to step you through. The first is a multi-layered Photoshop file. The second is this PNG file with a solid white background. And the last is this JPEG file just here with a beige background. So let's start with our Photoshop file just here. Notice it is a multi-layered file. We can see that here inside of the layers panel. And your initial reaction might be to go and grab something like the crop tool. So if I press C to bring up the crop tool, you can go and grab these edges and bring them in like so. And granted there's some snapping going on, which is helping us out a lot. You won't always get that happening, depends on the graphic. And um, if we spend enough time on this, we could get ourselves a very nice cropped image. But again, I'm trying to show you this nice automated method, right? So let's press escape to jump out of there. Let's go up to image trim. Now, when we trim, we have the option to go after transparent pixels, which is what we want in this case, or we can go after the top left pixel color or the bottom right pixel color. So let's put it back to transparent. And also you can decide which of the four sides you wish to trim away. Generally, you will want all four, but you may, for example, wish to turn off one side for a particular reason. Let's keep all four of these on. I'll choose OK. And check this out. We have got now a fantastically trimmed image. And look at this edge just here. Beautiful, it's done a fantastic job. Let's look at the bottom just down here. And fantastic, this has done a great job. Let me actually do a command or control Z here just to back up one step. And let's get back up to that uh, trim command again. I just want you to see if I turn off something like top, choose OK, no big surprises, that's the result just there. It trimmed all three sides just over here, but left the top as it was. So also notice guys, the layers panel is still completely intact. So this trimming process didn't do any strange flattening of our file behind the scenes. The layers panel still completely intact. Let's move on to the second example just here. So this is a PNG file just here. So it's a single layer. You can see that over here in the layers panel, a single layer with a solid white background. Okay, image, trim. So exactly the same command as before. Now transparent pixels isn't going to help us out here. Let's choose top left pixel color. By the way, white is considered to be a color. And let's trim away all four sides. Choose okay. And that's the result just there. So a fantastic result around the bumper just there and around the tire. Fantastic, looks great. So that was nice and easy. Let's go and have a look at our potentially problematic JPEG file just here. Now this is a low quality JPEG file. And so it looks like we have a solid beige background just here. But the question is, do we really? So let's go up to image trim. And notice transparent pixels isn't even an option. This is a JPEG file, which doesn't support transparency. So let's just choose top left pixel color, all four sides, choose OK. And initially this looks great, but let's zoom in a little closer just here. Okay, it didn't quite get to the edge of the bumper. And if we look at the bottom of the wheel just here, it's definitely not up nice and close against the tire. And if we look very closely, we can see what the problem is. These artifacts through here. When you save out JPEGs, especially low quality JPEGs, these artifacts really start to become potentially problematic in a situation like this. Photoshop's doing its best effort to trim away, but you can see with these extra pixels, with these extra colors showing up within the background against the edge, Photoshop isn't able to create a nice flush trim. So in a situation like this, guys, I'm sorry to say, but the crop tool is probably the way you'll need to go. Alrighty, guys, so image trim. I hope that helps you out with your designing here inside of Photoshop. Catch you later.